Let's talk about email marketing tools, in particular, my favorite, Flowdesk. I'm going to give you an honest, no BS review, and then I'm going to walk you through some of its features. So if you are considering which email marketing platform you want to go with, you can see if this would be a good fit for you. But I will be totally honest, I also have an affiliate discount code for you, which will save you 50%, which is awesome. Makes it even juicier of an option to choose. But first, I really want to talk about like the main reasons I love Flowdesk. So I have been using Flowdesk myself for five years in my own business, and I usually recommend it to, I would say, 95% of my clients because my clients are usually beginner entrepreneurs or solopreneurs. They're the only one doing everything or they have a very small team. And so they need a tool and a software that meets all of their needs, but is easy and intuitive to use. And they don't have to like go and hire someone and pay an arm and a leg to have them do it for them. You can do that with Flowdesk anyway, but it's just, it's number one, it is so intuitive and easy to use. It is um, female founded, so I do think that's a big part of it, <laughs> is they're really focused on simple design and like interface. I've used so many other platforms like MailChimp, um, Clavio. Honestly, with clients, I've probably used almost every single ConvertKit marketing, email marketing platform, and Flowdesk has remained the easiest and simplest to use. Of course, it's like anything else where you're going to need to learn how to use the platform, but once you know it, it's so like easy and intuitive. It's like, trust me, like I get headaches using other ones, and then this one is easy. So when I show you the, the interface, you'll, you'll kind of see why in a little bit. But yeah, so I love it because it's super easy and intuitive to use. But two, they give you really amazing, beautifully done templates. So because it is like so templated and they're like so well done and beautiful, it makes it fun and easy to stay consistent with email marketing because that's the other biggest challenge people have with email is they'll start their list and then they'll never email them, you know, and they're like, oh, pop it in your inbox six months later. Um, you want a tool that's easy to use, but the templates make it easy and fast to set up. So whether you're trying to create a really nice newsletter, it's going to give you, you know, this wow factor over other brands. Um, but they also have like sales page templates. So you just, you come off so much more professional without having to go hire a designer, which is so, so nice. Um, speaking of templates, they also let their users create templates and give them to others and sell them. Um, so I have created a welcome series template for you. If you're interested in that, the link is down in the description. But mine is less about the design of the emails and more about having the sales psychology and the content strategy done for you for your welcome email. So when someone first opts into your list, you're going to want to send them three to five emails. And I've already created those for you for Flowdesk. So if that helps you, you know, decide even more, great. You'll already have your welcome series done. You can learn more about that below. That, but this is not about that. But I love that, right? Because it it's it's allowing you to go find your favorite creators who have already done the work for you and you can just plug in their templates, which is super convenient. Again, super easy to use. So that would probably be my second thing. The third thing is that they don't charge you based on how many users are on your list. Like email marketing, if you're doing it well, can get really expensive on these other platforms because they charge you, you know, for every, I don't even know what it is, every thousand people or so, they're going to charge you more, more money per month. Flowdesk is a flat rate. It does not go up. So it's like the growth and return on investment is insane um, because you can just keep growing it and it's not going to increase. Their prices are so reasonable. Trust me, especially with a 50% off affiliate discount code, which you can find down in the, in the description. So I love that about it too, is it's just, it's affordable, but like so well done. My only thing about it is like they, they are, I want to say they're newer. They've been around for like six or so years, maybe even a little bit more. And so they're constantly adding new 
um, features. And so they might not have, you know, all of the robust features that like some of these other platforms that have been around forever have, but they are constantly listening to their community and adding more, which is amazing. Um, but like their price, you know, is still the same and it has everything you actually need to get started. Honestly, a lot of those features that a lot, um, a lot of other platforms have are like super overwhelming and it keeps people from being consistent because they have to learn all these things. Um, so Flowdesk like integrates new features really seamlessly, which I love. And then the last thing I will say is kind of what I was alluding to. It has everything you need in one place. So it has your emails, obviously, but it also has the opt-in forms of how you collect those emails included. You can add on sales page and checkouts, meaning that you can like sell a digital product or your coaching um, th using the sales pages and you can collect payment. Um, they also have link in bio, like social media type of pages that you can create and they're all templated for you. So it has everything you would need to get started. And that's why I'm going to now walk you through the features so you can see firsthand from my account, what it looks like on the inside. Let's go. Welcome to my Flowdesk account. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick little tour and walkthrough of the features. Again, if you want to see something specific, let me know in the comments and I can make another video on specifics. But I want to give you a good overview. So up here is your main menu. So these are all the different kind of things that Flowdesk can offer you. There's emails, which think of these as like blast emails. So like you want to schedule it for a certain day, like a newsletter on two weeks from now. The forms are where you collect email addresses. Workflows are automated emails. So if someone opts into your email list and then you want to send them five welcome email journey, that's an automated workflow. And those are the email templates that I have for you. So that's where you're going to create those workflows. Checkouts is their sales pages and checkout system where you can actually collect payment for digital products or coaching or whatever. This wouldn't really be good for like physical products like e-commerce, just a heads up. Um, audience is where you can look at like all the different people on your list, all the different segments that they're in. And then analytics is where you can go and look at, you know, performance, how things are doing, and you can make improvements based on your data. So let's start over here in emails. So these emails, like I said before, are basically if you are scheduling out an email. And I love these because after you have it sent, so you can see this one was sent to 17. This is just a, a segment of my list. If you just click these three dots, it'll easily give you an overview of your open rate and your click-through rate. You can also go in and view details um, to see things on a more, you know, granular level. But again, this is why I love Flowdesk because they give you the like most important data points here so that it can be really quick and easy for you to see performance of a specific email. What I also love about this is you can kind of create different templates. So for example, I don't necessarily do a monthly newsletter but you could create like a whole newsletter template. I like to just send out a weekly value email, which usually goes to a YouTube video or a blog or something like that. And so once you have kind of your template set up, you can just go to a past email. So say this is the one I'm doing every week and you can just hit duplicate and then it's going to create a duplication of it. And then you would just, you know, change out, like this is the one that's going to go out, let's just say on August 1st. And then you would go in and edit it. So what I love about that is like, it makes it easy to like keep a, a certain style or template that you like. So again, it, it saves you a lot of time. So when I go in here for this week, I'm just going to change out the intro to lead into the video. I'm going to change out the thumbnail. I'm going to change out the outro. And then this is something I have like call to actions at the bottom of all of my weekly value emails so that they can, you know, connect with me on Instagram or whatever else. But to my point this section just stays the same. I never have to edit or add that every single week. It's already in there for me. Um, so yeah, if you want to, you know, more detailed tutorials on how to edit emails, we can do that, but it's really simple. You're, once you click a block, you can obviously just edit the text there, but you, if you want to change the font or any the font size or anything like that, you're going to do all of that over here on the side. So again, it's just so super and easy to use. You can like move things up and down. Um, so, so, so simple. 
And you can also send a test email to yourself. You can favorite. So like if this was my template, I would favorite it and call it my weekly newsletter template. Um, you can even share this as a template with a friend or a different business or whatever you want to do. But anyways, so that is the editing. You can change out your you know, font colors and all that kind of stuff. Um, after you have that set up, then it's going to ask you to who, who do you want this to come from? So you can like your from name that all so is set up in your settings, but then you're going to add in your subject line, your preview text, and then you're going to tell it, um, who you want the email to actually go to. So if you want it to go to all subscribers, great. Or if you want to add, a segment. So let's just see like my reach retreat waitlist segment. I can just choose that segment to get this email, or I could just blast it to my entire list. So what I love about that is it makes it really easy to create really valuable emails for different types of people. Um, so let's say, for example, you're a teacher. And so you have some students that you want to email, but you also have a parents list. And maybe you also have a list of people who are learning how to become better teachers. So you could have them all as different segments and use the same platform to send out uh, very customized, personalized messaging to different segments. Okay, so let's go back. If you ever need to go back, you're just going to hit this main flow desk um, logo and I'll take you back to where you were. So that's, that's emails looking at it simply. And then forms, like I said before, this is where you are going to create the forms that actually collect the email addresses. Um, so here's an example of my retreat wait list. So same thing. You can click these three arrows really quickly and see, okay, 81 people visited, 19 people opted in, 23% conversion rate. Obviously, I'd love that to be higher, but I think I probably had a lot of people that were just like, oh, what's this retreat about? And they weren't quite sure they wanted to commit. <coughs> but anyways, you can start to learn from those different types of things. Um, and then same thing when you're ready to, um, you know, create your own, you can start with new form or you can duplicate an existing one you already have if it ha already has like styles that you like, but let's just go and pretend I didn't have anything here. If you want to create a new form, it's going to give you all of these different options of templates, which is so awesome. So let's kind of go through all of them quickly. So the first is the link in bio. So this is what you're going to, this is what you can link as like in your Instagram bio, your TikTok bio, and it's going to give you options where people could opt in for your email list. You could send them, you know, to different, different things, um, on your, like, it's kind of like a link tree, but better. Um, so I'm not going to go for that one, but there's also a pop-up. So this is, if you want a pop-up to come up on your website, um, it, after you create it, it will give you a custom code. You just add to your website header, and then that'll pop up for every new visitor to collect their email. An inline is also to go to get put into your websites, but it might just be like in a footer or the middle of a page type of thing. Um, so you can create those as well. I mostly use the full page. And so these are all sorts of different templates. So they already kind of have different design looks for you. Um, and all you'd have to do is hit customize. And then this is going to give you at the end a link that you can just send to people of like, you know, put in your Instagram stories, like, Hey, I created a new freebie, go up, go check it out. You can just link it and it's going to send this big, nice page to them. So it's kind of like a landing page done for you. Um, let's see what else you can add a video page. So you can just basically have a video on top. You can add a spinner. So this is really good. You know, if you're trying to like do like a giveaway type of vibe and they also have a countdown. So if there's a reason why, they could only join your list for this thing in a certain amount of time. That's really going to drive urgency. So those are all really cool. And then, like I said before, it's super easy. You're just going to pick one and hit customize. You're going to tell it who, like what segment. So let's just say you had a new um, cooking guide freebie. And that's what you're creating this for. You're going to call your segment that. Whoops cooking guide freebie. So now you know whoever opts in for that is going to be labeled as, hey, this is someone who was interested in my cooking guide freebie. So you know how they came in. I'm just going to put test for now. Um, save. 
And so then it's going to bring you in here and you're just going to add a picture, change out the text. You can change the font, all that kind of stuff. And then when you go to hit share, it's going to give you this link here. Um, and that's what you would put in your, you know, link in bio page or wh wherever you're sending people from to go get your freebie. It's as simple as that. Okay. What's next? So let's go back to workflows. So workflows are um, where you're going to create those automated segments. So this could be something like if someone buys something from you through the checkout and you want them to send the file, like, hey, send this ebook file to some people who bought, you're going to create, you know, a segment that says ebook buyer, and then you're going to start. So I'll just show you this is for my email templates. So if you purchase them, you will be in this workflow. Congratulations. Um, but it's really simple and intuitive to use. Unlike a lot of other platforms, you literally just say, okay, how do we know? The trigger is basically asking like, how do we know who to send this workflow to? So you're going to say, as soon as someone is added to the segment, welcome email templates buyer, put them in here. So if this was ebook buyer or whatever. So as soon as someone gets added to that template, or I'm sorry, by the template, they're going to get added to that segment. And then it's going to trigger these emails. So in this case, I only have one email here because it's just giving them what they ordered, right? So once you, you can see this is the email that goes out right away. You're just going to hit edit and edit that email, same as I showed you before. Um, and then you can tell it what to do next. So there's exit, they will just be done the workflow. Or if you click this plus sign, you could add you know, okay, so wait one day and then send them something else, send them another email. So you can kind of like just build these from scratch um, or they have, you know, different templates that you can use um, for that. So I'm going to republish this, but again, that's so simple, um, very intuitive. You can also have it take people out of the workflows. So say, you know, you're selling something in your five email workflow and if they buy it while they're in there, you can tell it to take them out so they don't keep seeing those emails. And then lastly, I'll just show you the checkouts. So this is your sales page templates. So again, these are ones that I already have built. So every time I go to create a new sales page, I really just duplicate an existing one because it already has all my fonts. It has my colors in it, how I like it. Um, but you can do same as before, start from scratch and you can use any of their templates. So they have templates for selling digital products, something like education or a service, or maybe it's just, you know, a freebie that you want a bigger, um, landing page for, or you can even have just checkout. So if you want to send someone just to the checkout for a product and you don't feel like they need a sales page, you can do that too. Um, but same thing here, you're just going to pick a template that calls to you and you're going to hit edit and you're just going to change out all the details. It's so, so simple. Um, just for time's sake, I'm not going to go over the audience and analytics, but really it's just kind of showing you all the different um, segments that you have, who's in that segment. And then same thing with analytics. It's just going to, you can look at... Um, your, how your emails are doing, how your forms are doing, how your workflows are doing, and how your checkouts are doing. It just goes into a lot more deeper data so you can make really good decisions. I hope you love this tutorial walkthrough review. Flowdesk is honestly amazing. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to drop them down in the comments. If you love this, if you're going to use Flowdesk, let me know. Don't forget the discount code in my email templates down in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.